Hi, thanks for joining us. In this video, let's take a look at adding some AutoCAD data and AutoCAD Civil 3D data into an Infoworks 360 model. Here's my Infoworks 360 model. We're laying out a proposed new subdivision on this site, and the surveyor has already created a proposed plat. Simply drag and drop that DWG on top of Infoworks 360, and you'll be presented with three different options. I'm going to choose the DWG as 2D overlay. This essentially treats all of the CAD work as line work, and we're going to drape it onto the surface. That DWG file will be uploaded to the Autodesk Cloud and will then be available for me to place inside my Infoworks 3D model, essentially draping the line work on the surface. It'll take a few moments to do this, so grab a cup of coffee. When the conversion is complete, you'll see the overlay show up in your data source panel as not configured. Double click to bring up the configuration menu and use the interactive placement tool to place the DWG on top of the terrain. Close and refresh and you'll see a small version of your drawing inside of Infoworks 360. Now you can use the standard Infoworks 360 grips to place the model approximately, but for best placement, you're probably going to want to be a little bit more precise. Now you can use the place by reference points option. Simply select three locations on the DWG, on the image that you can align or reference to landmarks in your Infoworks 360 model. In this case, the green area was a property area laid out by using a surveyor's plat, a, a shapefile of the property. And we can use the different property corners to align the DWG to my Infoworks 360 model. Once this is complete, you'll see that the drawing overlays very closely to the Infoworks 360 model. Now, there may be some variation because you're trying to drape a cadastral image onto a rolling terrain. But in this case, it's very close and it really gives a sense of what I'm trying to convey with my model. Now let's take a look at adding in Civil 3D DWG data. And this is different because we're actually going to use the Civil 3D objects, the surfaces and the alignments in this case, to represent objects in Infoworks 360. Now, I'm a big fan of drag and drop, so I simply drag and drop the DWG on top of my Infoworks 360 model, just like before. But this time, instead of placing anything in the drawing, when the data source configuration dialog pops up, I just click OK because I want to configure each of the objects individually. First, I'll select the Civil 3D roads from my drawing. And in this case, I'm going to select a style so that they look like an Infoworks 360 road. This could be any style. It could be a style that you've custom created. And I'm also going to select drape before close and refresh. This makes sure that the roads simply follow the terrain in Infoworks 360. Now you can see we've got design roads following the alignment that was created in Civil 3D, but displaying as Infoworks, Infoworks 360 roads. Now I'll add in the existing ground from survey by, again, double click that terrain option now and check on the source tab just to make sure that it is being converted. And then I will move to the converter tab and drop the grid size. Now on large surfaces, this would probably be too small, but for a design surface, this works out really well. Now you can see that my Civil 3D surveyed surface has been brought into Infoworks 360. This creates a really powerful exhibit, combining the CAD overlay of my preliminary plat with the road style and surface modeling of the Civil 3D objects. If you want to make sure things are working like you expected, you can toggle on the wireframe view of the world and you can see here the difference between the USGS DEM outside of my site and the surveyed surface inside my site area. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the Infoworks 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and infra tips where you can learn more ways to make Infoworks 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.